Today is the new moon in Leo. Venus moves into Virgo and Mercury goes retrograde tomorrow. Holy smokes. I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. I've got full length detailed horoscopes on my YouTube channel. Detailed horoscopes for all 12 zodiac signs. Definitely go check that out so you can find out the full scoop of how the next two weeks are going to affect you. But let me tell you right quick, when Venus moves into Virgo here, there's an idea that within our manifestations and within our relationships, we're going to be much more discriminating discriminating discriminatory simply meaning that's a little bit picky now picky in a way that we're going to be better at making healthy choices and any of the things like red flags or ways in which we were really slacking any of those things we used to ignore or brush off in the past are no longer going to be tolerable all of the butterflies in this card indicate how important it is to really focus on your own metamorphosis and continual evolution can be evidenced by looking backwards in your timeline and going, wow, that was really cringy, or oh my goodness, I can't believe I used to think that, do that, see that, believe that. When you see yourself growing, that is the best, best sign ever. So today's new moon in Leo focuses on bringing a very heart-centered approach to all that you do and say and believe in your life. There's an energy right now that has really amazing potential for making some huge evolutionary steps in your own metaphysical and spiritual processes. The ways in which you're evolving, oh my goodness, I'm dropping all the cards. The ways in which you're evolving are going to have a lot to do with getting out of your own head, trusting your intuition and making sure to surround yourself with people who lift you up and inspire you to be your best. The most important people we can have in our life are the ones that keep us accountable, but also see the best in us so that if we stumble, if we start to fall, not only do they catch us, but they remind us of our greatness. The ones that make us feel trapped in our heads the people you encounter in your life that make you afraid to be you, those are the ones that lead to a life of imprisonment. And so if you find that you are a prisoner in your own life in any way, the orange dress that she's wearing encourages you to find safety, find solace, and channel whatever fire is necessary to get yourself out of any trapped situations. And then the high priestess is about trusting your intuition listening, learning, observing, and approaching with curiosity. Remember to go with the flow and establish your own personal rhythm. The more that you have your own relationship with time, the less you're going to feel hurried or judged by other people. When you have your own relationship with time, you can have a heart-centered approach to your life you can go with your own flow, you can manifest as you need, and inspiration will always be a fuel for, <laughs> for the joy in your life. I know a lot of cards fell out today, but I just felt like I would go with the flow. I'm Erin, I'm Queen V Tarot. Make sure to go check out your full-length detailed horoscopes on my YouTube channel. Wishing you guys all the very best. I hope you unlock something amazing in your heart that leads to new beginnings, magic, and miracles. Sending you guys all of my love. I will see you tomorrow.